Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. GPD Colonel Mark Charforest may be the force's most senior ranking officer, but that didn't give him the authority to tell all to members of the press. Recently stripped of his badge and gun and placed on administrative leave, Charforest interviewed with Jess Lujan on Isla 63 on December 28 to explain his conduct, which was captured on a body camera worn by a responding police officer at the scene of an agate home on Christmas Eve. While he justifies his yelling to Bell's palsy, he says the officers had no probable cause to conduct illegal searches of the homes. In an earlier press conference with Chief of Police J.I. Cruz, he says officers were responding to a report of loud explosives and possibly fireworks. In a statement from GPD spokesperson Captain Kim Santos on Friday, she says Charfris was specifically ordered not to talk to the press. Quote, at this time, Colonel Charfris was presented with the memorandum, specifically reflecting that he is to refrain from making open remarks regarding any ongoing investigations and further advises him on what or what not to do, end quote. GPD wouldn't provide details on Charfris's potential violations, but did ask that the administrative investigation be allowed to take its course. Meanwhile, Charfers is no stranger to controversy. For the last decade, he's made headlines, whether he was the subject of an investigation or arrested. In the same interview on Isla 63, he explains. Mark Charfers has always been the person to stand up, mm -hmm. hold his ground. The thing about it is through the years, as things are adjudicated, as things go move forward, as, as, the, as the evidence come out and as the facts are presented, that's how I win my cases. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't win my cases because of magical uh, maneuvering or technicalities. I win my cases simply because I would have been able to prove that it was the right thing to do at the time. The ongoing administrative investigation is being conducted by members of the Guam Fire Department, Guam Customs and Quarantine, and the Department of Corrections. To view Charfers' interview from December 28 in its entirety, visit our Facebook page. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.